Hello Cancer, thank you for joining me. Today I'm going to be doing a reading for you. Um, I first wanted to mention that if you're interested in a personal reading, you can go to the link in the description, um, which will lead you to requesting a booking. And um, your song this week is Let Em Know by Bryson Tiller. So I love Bryson Tiller and naturally I love this song as well, but um, it, it definitely does have some inappropriate language, so if you are sensitive to that, do not listen to the song. <laughs> but either way, um, I wrote down some of the lyrics that I thought were important. Um, I wrote down, I'm coming back for good, so let them know it's mine. It's about time I say this shit. <laughs> um, I know we haven't had a conversation in a minute, but you know what they say, if it's not broken, don't fix it. It's not broken, just unfinished. Um, also, you said this would happen, um, it was your prediction, and are you going to give me a, a second chance or not? So, second chances, you know, they're not, they're not so bad, but the guidance from spirit because I definitely asked the cards <laughs> and I asked for cancer's um, most high vibrational path possible the most high vibrational path possible could could you even guess what came out it was the eight of cups of course um, so spirits guidance is for you to walk away from anything that doesn't serve you and I think that um, you definitely need to be honest with yourself about whether this person serves you or not. Are they going to hinder you and set you back? Or are they going to help you, um, not even help you, but you know, walk together with you um, on your path? Because it's time, that's what, it's, that's what spirit wants you to focus on right now. Your spiritual path, your awakening, and your purpose. That's what um, spirit was guiding you to focus on rather than um, a relationship with this person that seems like they are really, um, they're a little too confident it seems. But we'll see more into the situation. All right. Cancers. Fellow Cancers. Let's see. Please show me Cancer's energy for the collective here. Emergence. Okay. The frequency of emergence invites us to approach our reality with a childlike attitude of innocence and wonderment and to watch and celebrate the beauty that unfolds from that place. So what this is making me feel like is allowing um, your higher self to emerge, allowing, you know, um, your needs to come first because when you're living in your higher self, you know, you're going to be <laughs> prioritizing yourself and prioritizing your needs and that's not just like physical needs that's emotional needs what you want in life what's going to make you happy you know where are you going to be able to spread light you know this is this is what it's making me feel like um your higher self emerging but it also is saying to approach our reality with a childlike attitude of innocence and wonderment so yeah, so basically this is asking you to not have your guard up. Um, you know, <laughs> you don't need to have your guard up when you're aware of what you deserve and what you don't deserve around people that are, that have maybe treated you poorly in the past. I hope that makes sense. Like if you're, if you're being approached by somebody that had deceived you, caused you any kind of, any, any way of wronging you, you know, just just treated you not the way you deserve. <laughs> I'm going around in circles here. Um, anyone like that, you know exactly who I'm talking about. Um, if if you if if you are um, oh my gosh, I'm losing everything I was just about to say now. Oh, if you are um, living like you know living through your inner being you know you, you you don't have to have your guard up with these people because you know you don't deserve them anyway that's what I was trying to say your guard up um, you don't have to have your guard up because what's there to guard you're not there's no chance that that you're letting that person in that kind of energy hopefully that makes sense I think I'm talking in circles now but either way 
allowing your inner being to come through. Um, and your inner being, you know, loves you unconditionally as well. So, you know, making sure that you love yourself unconditionally. You know, no matter how much money you have, no matter what you look like, no matter what, you know, it, it's, it's not about that. It's unconditional love for yourself. Loving yourself no matter what, no matter what the condition is. Okay, and please show me the situation for cancer. Please show me the situation. Okay, transition and Gaia oh, and Merkaba. Merkaba, Merkaba, I don't know. But transition and Gaia. So this, this is um, like the tower card here. Um, the frequency of transition supports our deep understanding of the ever-changing nature of existence and our lives so that we can learn to let go, surrender to the process, and allow transition to occur with ease and grace. So there's some sort of tower moment that we'll look into more. Um, that seems like it's happening, that's happening in Gaia, which is Earth, basically. The frequency of Gaia reminds us that we are infinitely connected to one another, just as we are to our great mother and to the universe that birthed us all. So our connection, our connection to everything. Um, you could be going outside. You could be doing something for the environment. That's really random. Merkaba, the frequency of Merkaba supports our ability to use our consciousness to traverse into other layers of reality and dimensions. It activates our access to the Akashic inheritance as well, merging the totality of our experiences into our present to serve our higher purpose. So basically all, like, I feel like this is all about connecting. Connecting to, um, you know, um, a greater, a greater force, which, you know, Again, it could just be connecting to your inner being here and, you know, kind of adopting the beliefs of your inner being, if that makes sense. Loving yourself unconditionally, realizing your power, realizing um, that you have more of a purpose here. Because um, that's really what spirit wants you to focus on. Um, your awakening, your realization of where you come into play here. Okay, let's look more into it. This tower moment could have to do with this person um, trying to come back into your energy fields. Whether this is they've physically done this already or they're planning on it so you can feel it intuitively. Okay. Please show me cancer in the 3D. Please show me cancer in the 3D. Okay. So, we have the Seven of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. So I was definitely feeling in the pre-shuffle an energy of, um, you've been working really hard on something. And this is you looking at every all the work you've put into something. Um, this is also you looking at all the things that have gone on in a particular situation. Um, I'm feeling like this is, this is the person offering, offering something. And this is you looking back at all the things that have grown from the seeds you've planted with this person in the past. And you're, you're considering whether or not this is something that is good for you or not. That's what I'm feeling like. Along with the fact that um, I'm feeling like you definitely are looking also, this is another totally different situation, um, but you're also looking at your, the work you've put into maybe something physical, like a career or a job, um, and maybe you're wondering where the, um, the fruits of your labor are, basically. But I'm also picking up on a situation here where somebody is looking at the fruits from, you know, a, a past situation and, you know, someone's offering that same thing again and you're looking back at, you know, what happened the last time you planted that seed and you're wondering if it's, um, good or not. <laughs> Please show me the situation in 3D for cancer. Yeah. Okay. So follow your intuition here. Use your discernment. Three of Cups almost came out. <laughs> Page of Wands. 
spirits here with the strength card here. You could be dealing with a Leo. With these, you could be dealing with an earth sign here. But we also have fire. Ooh. Lovely. Okay. This is a totally different energy, eh? Yeah, this is somebody speaking on some sort of heartbreak. Or this is, um, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. I'm just honestly, honestly, yeah, I'm just gonna, I feel like this is such a, this is kind of obvious here where it's this person and you're, the situation here is this heartbreak is being brought up again. You're looking back at everything that came out of the situation the last time and you're also kind of probably looking at the healing that you've done as well um, from the situation already and kind of probably not wanting to do that all over again. Um, and you're being, you're, you're being le um, lended the strength here. You're being guided. Um, you know, you do have the strength to, you know, gusto through this, um, but it's definitely bringing up past heartbreaks and like healing things, things that you have, have probably worked really hard to heal. And um, this King of Swords character here, this could be you. You're standing um, your ground. Um, you know, not allowing anything to um, come into your energy field that doesn't serve you, like cutting out things that don't serve you, basically. Um, but this is also making me feel like, you know, maybe somebody was um, somebody who is an analytical person, a masculine energy. Um, it could be this person here. We'll look more into it. But um, that's what it's feeling like. And it's, it's kind of feeling like um, somebody is making a... Um, Kind of like a naive gesture towards you even though they're following with this heartbreak like the um, three of swords and the king of swords came out at the same time it's like this heartbreak's still here you know what I mean I want to say this could be an earth sign um, not an earth sign an air sign as well earth sign too could be an earth sign but um yeah okay please show me why the situation is happening in 3D what is the cause of it, the Empress, reconciliation, yeah, because now you're, you're in your Empress power and um, now somebody wants to offer this emotion to you because you're in your abundant um, Empress energy, yeah, please show me um, Cancer in 5D, please. Goodness, it's a lot. So these fell out together and these fell out together. All right, so um, definitely intuition here. Definitely intuition here. King of Cups here. So there's a lot of masculine energy coming out here. And here is... Um, that childlike innocence going going through life with the childlike innocence here. I'm feeling like maybe you want to do that. Something is stopping you from going forward with something. Um, I'm not feeling like it's a love situation with what I'm feeling like this is your energy. Um, authoritative probably you're probably in charge of your own life you know what I mean like you are um, independent um, just authoritative really but also abundant uh, maybe a little overly emotional right now um, but your intuitions definitely there the intu your intuition is probably heightened at this moment can you show me what the situation looks like in 5d Knight of swords almost came out Queen of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. So I'm, f I'm, I'm feeling like you're definitely somebody's fulfillment here. Now that these are are here, I'm I'm feeling like um, I'm feeling like you are this person's emotional fulfillment. Hmm. 
now I'm feeling like this is so you could be dealing with another water sign or an earth sign or they could just be having um, the energies of a king of pentacles and a king of Cu and a king of cups um, but I'm feeling like they have had intuition as well they have had intuition as well and maybe they had some sort of guard up hmm yeah you're to somebody else like you just um you just aren't focusing on them so i'm feeling like they are um they're trying to hold on really tight to um what was left of the connection um but you just are are just looking very um positive and light to this person you could be going forward with um, like personal um, projects. Can you show me why the situation in fact be? What is the higher purpose? What is the higher purpose? Situation. Oh, secrets. 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 Can you tell me what the secrets are? <laughs> The temperance card flies out. <laughs> um, secrets. I want to know more. Can you show me more about the secrets? Oh my god. It's about a queen of pentacles and a queen of swords. What in the world? Is there a lot of people of this or what? <laughs> what in the world is going on? Um, I was, I'm feeling like somebody wasn't giving um, their all to anything at all. But that's not really a secret. Um, I hope they wouldn't think that was a secret. Because um, obviously you've gained, you have reflected and you know that. You know you weren't getting what you deserved. Um, and that's why it failed in the past. Um, Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, this person definitely could have um, put you in a situation with multiple people. Um, and after reflecting and, and everything <laughs> and resting, can you show me more? Okay, and then, okay. Yeah, so I'm feeling like this person, um, oh, I feel like it's just secrets about other people, really, to be honest. And it's like, you know, if you have confirmation of that, then you have confirmation of that. Um, don't just think that just because, you know, I said it, you know what I mean? Um, if you know that you were put into a third party situation, you know it already. Like I'm not, I'm not trying to tell you any new information. I'm pretty sure these are secrets that you probably already know about, honestly. Um, yeah, you probably already know about these things. So, you know, whether they think you know or not, um, you know, I think, I think you know. Um, and I'm thinking that, um, this is them, you know, they, they walked away from those situations or, um, yeah, that's, I mean, that's what it's looking like. I would hope so if they were coming to you, um, saying, give me a second chance. I would hope they walked away from the other parties, but you know, whatever. So the outcome of your energy here, what is Cancer's outcome? I feel like this person is just going to be like trying to fight for it. They're just going to be fighting. Um, but this is also you really working hard um, fighting them off. <laughs> and I think that it's going to get to the point where they're just left um, probably like watching your social media or something. Um, spying. Yeah. Okay, can you please show me the outcome of the situation? Page of Cups. Oh, another apology. <laughs> or, or this is the apology. Uh, please show me the outcome of the situation. Maybe there's two apologies. 
yeah, somebody plans to um, try again, attempt again, go back to the drawing board. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Can you show me what Cancer can be excited about? What can Cancer be excited about? Knight of Swords. The truth. The truth, but also um, the, the universe kind of leading you down a path that you're effortlessly going to be able to cut out what doesn't serve you. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like things will probably kind of iron themselves out on their own without you trying to um, work so hard. That's what I'm feeling like. But it's also, um, you're, you're probably getting truth, you know, clarity, closure, you know. Please show me more about what Cancer can be excited about. Ooh, wow. <laughs> yeah, I mean, hello. Knight of Cups, wish fulfillment, and the Fool, <laughs> a new beginning. So lovely. A new beginning. Can you show me what this new beginning will include? Cancer. Please show me what the new beginning will justice. Okay. <laughs> All right. So whatever that means for you, justice. Justice. Lovely. Hmm. I want to say with this as well, this is also, um, you know, for why this situation is happening, it's because um, you did inner work as well. You did inner work. Again, going back to this empress, you walked, you stepped into your empress energy because you healed you rested you reflected you got enlightened you stepped on your spiritual path you did all these things um and now you know the universe is asking you to stay strong and walk away from something that doesn't serve you when it comes towards you <laughs> you know because you um you're just on another level at this point and um you don't want to work backwards or go backwards right so don't <laughs> you know just don't and Career and finance, I want to ask this question really quick. Can you show me what Cancer can expect in career and finance? Oh, yeah, that one wants to. Queen of Cups. Yeah. Ace of Cups. Judgment. Ooh. So this is making me feel like you're going to have your pick on in some way, on something. You're going to get to choose something, but this looks... Um, extremely emotionally fulfilling whatever this is can you show me more about career and finance for cancer Ooh. yeah so it's going to be a reason to celebrate <laughs> you might end up you know feeling at a crossroads here um, with making a decision you're going to have your pick for sure um, but um it's gonna, you're probably gonna feel like you have a decision to make in some way. Um, a direction, which direction you're going in. Um, this might be, if you're, if you're in a company where you can move up, you might be, there might be two different ways you can go. Either way, in the end, you end up celebrating. You could be going out to celebrate, um, drinking specifically with friends. Um, and it feels like this has been a, it's been a, um, whatever this is, it's like you, you get some sort of, um, some sort of cup, some sort of tangible cup here. And it's, it feels like it's been a long time, long time in some way. Like you've been working really hard for this, or you've been putting steady amounts of work into this. The Knight of Pentacles is, is a really slow night. So it's, it's taken a while to get to you, but here it is, you know, you're on your throne receiving it, um, you know, at a celebration. You might be going to a party. There might be a party thrown in your honor <laughs> or something. Um, maybe your work will have a party for you for in congratulations. Maybe you'll have a congratulations party in general. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Have fun at that. <laughs> um, is there any other questions? I think that's it. Yeah, I mean, hopefully, I hope this helped. I hope this was helpful. I don't know. I feel kind of more confused than I did in the beginning here. Well, hopefully, hopefully, um, 
your next reading will be better. Um, this could, uh, remember this could be talking about somebody in your energy field too, if this is just like you're just as like what as me. Um, but, you know, just remember, don't, don't ever accept less than you deserve ever in any circumstance. Don't, um, don't allow, um, people to assume that you're just going to like pick up whatever, wherever you left off because they are good. You know what I mean? Because they are good. Like, good for you. Like, what about me? You know? So, yeah. That's just my little tidbit of advice here. I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day. I also want to mention again that if you'd like to book a personal reading, you can do so in the description. Um, there'll be a link there. I also um, wanted to mention that if you're interested in winning a free reading, you can subscribe to my channel and um, also go in the description and follow the link for that, um, that selection. <laughs> All right. Bye. <laughs> Bye.